Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna do a comparison of traditional white green LEDs versus the blurple LEDs that you see above. So we've got a few crops here. We've got a red lace mustard, a uh, red rainbow radish, and then we're doing some testing here on a secret crop that we'll get to in another video. Um, but we're gonna do a taste comparison. We're gonna do a yield comparison and a color comparison between the white and purple lights and see if there is any difference to help you decide if you should go with the blurple lights or the white lights for your grow or business or farm. So I've got a radish that's grown with the blurple lights and then a radish grown with the white lights. So we're gonna do a taste comparison and see if there even is a difference between the two. So this radish, this red rainbow radish is a really mild radish. It almost doesn't even taste like a radish. It's one of my favorite. It's so mild. It's perfect for salads. I could just eat these by the handful, especially with the super soul recipe. They're really sweet and flavorful and really crunchy. So if anyone's interested, you can check out the super soul recipe to get the highest quality microgreens on our website, microgreensconsulting.com. So that radish was really mild, a slight spice at the end, really crunchy, no bitterness whatsoever. No, not even a mustardy strong, like a strong mustardy flavor. Now let's see what the, what they taste like under the white lights. I would say very similar. The only difference I'm noticing is there's less sweetness, which is actually what I noticed before in my previous test comparing the white and blurple lights is that the radish or actually it was a mustard uh, had less sweetness uh, to it grown under the white light, but pretty much they taste the same. They're growing the same soil, same seeding rate. Everything's practically the same. We use the little green seeding machine to see both of them. So they have the same exact density. So overall, um, I wouldn't say there's much of a difference in flavor, except there's a slight extra sweetness with the blurple lights. Next, we're gonna test out the difference between the red lace mustard that's grown under white light and the red lace mustard grown under blurple light. So let's see if there's any taste difference. Mm. These, are, these are one of my favorite mustards. They're super spicy at the end, but they have a really, really nice mustardy flavor. So they're really spicy. It, it was kind of like a whole experience. Like it started out sweet and then it started getting mustardy for those of you that like the mustard flavor. These seeds are, uh, I believe, only available at high moin organic seeds. Um, they're a really high quality seed. They're much smaller leafed as you can see compared to the radish. They're a very small microgreen, um, but they're great to add in mixes because of the color. They're very, very unique like blend of purple and white. And I actually just posted a picture recently on my Instagram um, of this variety close up so you can really see the texture of it because it's really, really cool. Um, so if anyone's interested, you can check out High Moin Organic Seeds to get this specific variety of mustard. So that was the uh, the white one we just tried, the white LEDs. Now we're gonna try the blurple and see if they taste any different. This is kind of the opposite, where there's, there's a more pungent flavor in the blurple light, but there was less sweetness at the beginning, which was really interesting. So, um, well, you know, this is not a science experiment. This is just testing to kind of show you guys what the differences are. From what I can taste, um, I actually prefer the white light over the purple light for the taste of this mustard. Uh, now let's move on to the yield and color variation between the two varieties. So as you can see, these are both a beautiful color purple. They're this like spotted purple green color and they're, they're absolutely stunning. They're one of my favorite mustards to grow and to just look at for the pure beauty. Um, but uh, the underside of the leaf is actually green. So while the top is like a purple green, the underside is actually green. So you get this nice mix when you cut them and put them in a, a bag or in a clamshell. Um, now, I don't really, to be honest, see much of a difference between the colors. Um, I, to be honest, I expected the purple, the blurple lights to have a deeper hue of uh, purple, but to be honest, they look exactly the same. This is, this, just so you guys can know, this, these are the uh, blurple, lights and these are the white lights. One thing you uh, can maybe notice if I lift these up, uh, right at the edge at the front, there was a bit less light because they weren't completely centered and it's got a little bit more green 
on uh, the end there. So definitely having enough light will give you the color. So that's one thing a lot of growers will use not enough light to grow their microgreens and they will get a much greener red mustard instead of getting a red red mustard, which is what you generally want, um, not only for appearance, but also for the flavonoids and antioxidants. The color red has a lot of those polyphenols in the leaf itself. Um, and if it doesn't get enough light, it's not gonna be able to produce much of that pigment. And that pigment is what we want for the health benefits, along with the minerals, having good soil like super soil and things like that. But the pigment, if you're gonna grow a red variety, you definitely want it to be um, as dark as possible because you're gonna get more of those nutrients in the product. Now the radish. These are both red Rambo radish variety, the exact same seeding rate, everything else is the same, just the lights was the only difference. Um, this is the white, LED and this is the purple LED. Um, I don't see a really a difference in the color, but to be completely honest, I think the white LEDs leaves actually look bigger, uh, which is quite surprising to me. Um, and they also look more more like full. Like these ones are a little bit, uh, a little bit not floppy, but they're a little bit. Uh, the leaves aren't as big and they're kind of flopping a little bit. Um, they probably need a little bit of water, but I honestly don't think that's what the issue is. They all got exactly the same amount of water. Um, so from a visual perspective, I'm actually quite surprised the white LEDs actually look better in this case. So this is, to be honest, a little bit shocking for me. I was expecting the purple lights to do better. Um, this is why it's really important to kind of do these kind of tests to showcase what is actually possible with the different lights. Because for a very long time, I've been a firm believer in the purple lights, but doing more of these experiments, while I still think for most things, purple lights are going to be better. They're going to be more efficient, get higher yields. Um, so far in my testing, comparing the Barina Blurple and the Barina White LED, there's not a significant difference. I think from a flavor perspective, the Blurple are definitely better flavor-wise. Uh, but so far in, in, in this testing, there's not really a difference visually on the Red Lace Mustard and on the Radish. This one actually, the White LEDs actually look better. So, um, you know... I, I'm a bit biased because the LEDs I used weren't the Burrito LEDs. They're much more expensive LEDs with a lot of customization that was built into them. So they are a much more expensive but higher quality light. Uh, but if I were to start all over again, I would get the Burrito LEDs because the cost is just so low um, and you're still getting really good quality microgreens. Um, and it's just determining which light would make the most sense for you. There are some benefits to the white LEDs in that you can visually see disease or pests or things like that a lot easier than the blurple lights. Also for like social media and things like that, it just looks more visually appealing to have the white lights, um, unless you want to like show off that you have like this futuristic farm. But I think that time has kind of passed now that uh, a lot of farms are using these blurple lights. So the next thing we're gonna do is see what the yield difference is and see if there actually is a difference between the white LEDs and the blurple LEDs. All right, guys, the results are in. I feel like I am the host of the Mori Poverty Show when I say that. For those of you that remember that show, uh, might be dating myself here, but um, we got the results and let's take a look and see if there is any difference. So as I was cutting them, uh, I did notice quite a visual difference um, between the two radishes. So the white LED looked more even. There was a lot more smaller growth, bigger growth on the um, purple LEDs and the white LEDs look more even. Now, from my understanding of um, LED growth is white light will actually penetrate, or I should say green and yellow will actually penetrate deeper, which is why they're more likely to use it for uh, things like greenhouses, tomatoes, cucumbers, that sort of thing, or if you're growing indoors, those crops. Um, and I've noticed that over the years of using the blurple lights is you'll find um, the top canopy will do really well, but then the, the under canopy will be smaller, which is normal anyway. But having said that, um, there is there was a difference between the two and the undergrowth looked more uh, even to the top growth on the white LED. So just something to keep in mind there that I think is a, is a big benefit to the white LEDs in this test. Um, now, the mustards pretty much looked the same. There wasn't really any difference on them. Um, again, I tried to cut the stems as equally as possible. To get the most even results, you would want to use a greens harvester to do this uh, kind of testing because then it's going to be the same height no matter what tray you're using. So for the red lace mustard, the white LEDs got 155 grams uh, in the tray and the 
Blurple or Purple Light's got 145 grams. So a 10 gram difference, which because it's such a low yield, I would say that is significant. Um, it's not significant enough that I'd be like, hands down, use white LEDs, um, but it's, it's percentage wise, it's enough that I would be like, okay, that's probably not a fluke. If it was just a few grams off, um, then I would say it probably is. So um, I would say for flavor and yield, I would give the white LEDs the win for the red lace mustard. Now for the radish, the white LEDs had 329 grams per that one tray and the blurple lights had 321 grams. So this is an eight gram difference, which is small enough given how much larger the yield was that it's pretty, I would say it's pretty insignificant. But having said that, the white LEDs actually look better, but the blurple LEDs tasted better. So that's something to keep in mind that there are benefits and disadvantages to both of these types of lights. Now, this red lace mustard uh, is a very small variety seed. So if you are gonna grow it, um, if you're growing it for chefs, that sort of thing, it'll still be very profitable to grow um, on its own. So if you are gonna sell this as a retail product, I would recommend mixing it with some higher yielding mustards like the Tokyo Bacana we grew last time, got quite a bit higher yield than this guy. But the radish, I would say these are pretty good yields. Um, the density was great. Uh, no mold or anything like that on the trays, which is really important. And as always, I put a fan on 24 hours before harvest. If I were to try to maximize yield and size, uh, the red lace mustard I'd probably grow for another two or three days. So these were all grown for nine days, but I'd probably grow the red lace a little bit longer to get a true leaf, which would look better, but also increase the yield of the product. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. If there's any other tests you'd like me to do in the future, please put them in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.